three, two, one. My name is Robert Waldner. I live here in St. Augustine. Um, I've been writing poetry since I was 15 years old, and today I'm going to read three selections for you. Sun winds rain over cloud. The sun came out today, forcing the clouds to retreat back on their malevolent way. So this day anew has defeated all villainous skyscapes in view, only leaving only beauty to see and poetry to say. Cloud has long since reigned over sun, but now its crown has been stolen, its time of royalty is done. Hail to El Sol as it graces the earth and embraces a, us all at its time of rebirth. Showing us how we should all live as one, give praise to Mother Nature, show your love to our sun. Darkness can no longer cast upon us its evil shroud. For on this fine St. Augustine day, our sun winds rain over cloud. My next selection is about uh, local um, activist and author Stetson Kennedy. Stetson Kennedy, a superman. In noble actions, an advocate relentless, rising against inaction for the defenseless. Eyes wide open while collecting from the poor, a compassionate soul born of empathetic youth walking door to door. Later, with his infiltration of the Klan, Stetson Kennedy, in his phone booth moment, became a superman. Anonymously revealing criminal secrets over live radio broadcasts, he risked his life for the solace of others. Impassioned until the day he died, Stetson Kennedy's legacy lasts. He published his experiences to enlighten the world. While others watched, he valiantly took a stand against injustices no one should ever endure. Stetson Kennedy was and always will be America's real life Superman. Uh, this piece is called Ancient City Morning. The awakening sun ascends out of the Atlantic and glimmers scintillatingly upon the Matanzas, draping its luminous affluence softly over the bayfront. Blanketing the Castillo and south past Cathedral Place to Avila Street, it shines sequentially west past St. George, then Granada, until the entire city is robed in warmth and light. I reminisce of childhood evasions from cold, dreary New England springs as the lions clear the sleep from their eyes of stone and take watch over the bridge to Anastasia. Introduced to the beauty of the ancient city early in my life, I was captivated by her unequivocal ambiance and her ability to inscribe inspiration into my soul. I immersed myself in the city home to the bay named for the infamous massacre that took place just miles down the river. A city which was built for battle but overcame her origins to make her name synonymous with serenity. Her individuality has been sculpted through history and her ideals shifted from those of war to those of peace. Now the congenial city and I are one as I stroll along her quiet streets in the early morning light. As I cross King Street and into the plaza, I entertain memories of walking the same path as a child with my family. This friendly place has become a pivotal element of my existence. Though it is human nature to constantly search for inspiration among the living, the nature of humans becomes less inspiring by the day. Therefore, I have come to draw much of my inspiration from this sheltering realm within my view, kind enough to let me share another daybreak with the countless other species who find comfort within their boundaries. Small but majestic, St. Augustine has survived a long eventful history, one that has added to her mystique. Amiable in temperament, 
humble in heart. The city generously paints me into her depiction of another morning bestowed upon her by the hand of God. I will absorb the energy of this masterpiece I am surrounded by. As I anticipate the eventual moonrise over the bay named for death, but which has come to represent the very best of life. I rest assured that I will soon again be here, seated on a seawall bench, basking in the peace of another ancient city morning.